Like, so I'm all up for it. I think it sounds amazing. Like, yeah. bring it on. But I think, I think immediately when you describe it to somebody, right? So you're going to be traveling 760 miles an hour in a vacuum tube. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a what? like a crazy roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So even so it might without... be frightening without the safety concerns. It's just kind of like, do I really yeah, want to be like... going in something that is like a sort of like a sort of bobsleigh? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's gonna. It will seem at first, probably before you've ridden in it, like before you get in one for the first time, it will feel like you're getting on like a crazy thrill ride type thing, oh, like man. a roller coaster or something. I'd be so up. Oh for my it. god, I know it'd be so good. <laughs> we'll talk about like how it will actually be to ride one of them yeah. in a minute, but um, uh, safety, safety. That's the that's the concern people will probably have is like, what happens if I don't know there's a fire or yeah, like the pod breaks down for some reason, the compressor stops working and it hits the bottom of the thing and yeah. s- like scrapes screams a hole. along like or there's a hole in the the tube, the tube. Yeah. Like, what happens then yeah well, i mean there's an earthquake prone area that's very true um, they have to you know, they have to build it with that in mind they'll have to yeah they will i mean that actually Which might might not be that hard. that might be okay um, but you have to keep the tube extremely straight in the ver- in the event of an earthquake you'd have to have yeah. it almost almost like gimbaled like you'd have to have everything moving and the tube staying like dead still or would you or you just have like you have like a, a certain amount of flex in the tube so that it never like it will always flex at only like a yeah, but with a certain, there's something like, going radius. along it at 700 something miles an hour and it's flexing around yeah that's gonna be sketchy that doesn't sound like a good idea but uh, yeah i just know i know from Norm- know normally from? they're not rigid are they like earthquake pr- uh, earthquake yeah exactly they're not, not rigid. rigid 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 is a bad idea but you, what i'm saying is that you, you, the structure isn't rigid just the tube is you just, ha- you just keep so that every, tube every, stay, yeah because if it's wobbling around i mean the the, the hyperloop train is going to be going along those loops yeah, yeah i mean maybe yeah. that's fine and it would be long enough uh, the waves and stuff would be long enough for it to be okay yeah but maybe you somehow suspend it from these things so that's that what i sort of mean they yeah. move around yeah yeah that makes sense so they move and there is flex in the structures yeah. but the actual tube stays in the same place yeah because uh, otherwise <laughs> i mean it might lose its air cushion and stuff yeah i mean so i think that's potentially gonna be one of the worst things is if for some reason the pod no longer has an air cushion and makes contact with the bottom yeah then they're gonna have to design something they might have like little wheels in it or something yeah it must do it just runs itself down then to a to a stop yeah like a fire i think i mean i remember horrible i remember the original white paper thing that elon saying that if there was a fire yeah um and if there's a compressor yeah i mean i guess it would be let they'll probably have be electric won't they no idea yeah probably not not gonna have uh, an internal combustion no no Um, so it'll be less fire pro- uh, sorry it'll be less fire prone yeah and it will be less fire prone generally because it's, it's, it's a vacuum tube yes true true um so that that will work in its favor and if there is some kind of fire it will get sucked out probably through the vacuum like pumps pretty quickly sure um but i think i think elon was saying that under most circumstances for emergencies the best thing to do is just to let these things continue their journeys yes because it's only half an hour um yeah. and it's it's by stopping them then you like cause a blockage in the pipe and you're gonna have to go and get the people and all this stuff yeah and it's in the middle of like potentially the arse end of nowhere just in the middle of yeah you know the californian sort of desert part so i don't know exactly where it's going to be built but it yeah. might not be in near anywhere it might not be there's called... a lot of empty space in california yeah so it could be miles away from anything yeah um yeah so the the best idea under a lot of circumstances is just to keep going because again it's not for most of the time it's not being powered anyway it's just gliding so mm. there's hardly any friction it's just coasting through the tube yeah um so you just keep you just let it keep going and then it'll get to us but if there's a fire inside the cabin yeah i mean you can't just like we've got half an hour yeah but again it might still be the quickest thing depending on where it is it might still be quicker yeah but it might, you might want to like get out you know if you so if there's a fight so say say yeah, you're in a room true. that's like you know not particularly big they're probably not going to be particularly big no. ones <laughs> Some there's a fire for some reason. I don't know. Someone just starts smoking a joint in there or something, <laughs> and uh, and and there's a fire. Um, or someone's laptop bursts into flames. Yeah, and you're gonna want to get out. You you can't that be ha- in there. That has to be an, an option. That has to be an option. You can try and put it out. You probably have fire extinguishers and stuff yeah. in there. But like that sort of thing would probably fill with smoke really quickly. Yeah. So um, under that circumstance, yeah. So obviously then you'd have to have some way of stopping of getting out immediately. So like maybe they have. They'll have emergency brakes, obviously, and maybe maybe they'll have like hatches every hundred meters or something on the tubes so that you can. But then it's going to be it's they a vacuum have, tube. They don't have drivers, do they? No. They're autonomous. Yeah. So there's no one in there except the passengers potentially to it's kind of sketchy. deal with all this crap. It's scary. 
the thought of that is pretty scary actually yeah just you and say i don't know 10 other strangers or however many 11 other i don't know how many people it's supposed to take per pod um and you just yeah. like there's a fire in there and there's no 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 authority to help you deal with it yeah you've got like trained you're in suddenly the protocols of dealing with it you're just there like oh shit you're su- you're su- you suddenly realise what's happened. You 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 are in like a what sealed are we capsule in a vacuum tube in the middle of the desert <laughs> that is on fire. It's like, oh, what are we doing? This yeah. is terrible. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be bad. But it's yeah, got to be a way around, it. Be a way around it. I mean, sh- hopefully, sprinklers fill it up with water. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'd love that. And I'm sure these are the kind of concerns that like. And like what do immediately you do to... everyone's going to have these kind of concerns so they must, get... have, must be addressing them yeah to get out as well like how do you get out not only there might not, well I presume there's a way to get out of the pod because it has to get in and out of the pod but yeah you're in a vacuum tube like that's kilometres long like, yeah like, a, like you know like th- that section of the tube might be 800 miles long or something yeah like you've, <laughs> you've got to repressurise it before people before get out before you get out of the thing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy unless it's got like airlocks that can come down mm. and like section it off and then repressurize that section but I mean that's a tiny uh, sorry tiny a length like, it's going to take ages yeah it's and, take ages, and yeah. you don't know how it's going to like it's going to have to you have to work out where it's stopped because yeah. it's going to have loads of inertia carrying on going loads of momentum yeah um, until it stops somewhere and uh, yeah, you just have it's to, technically very challenging technically very challenging you can in- engineer out a lot of these risks probably that's probably going to be just what it is right how, how they deal with it it's just that the, the chances they... of that happening are just so astronomically low yeah. that you know no one what ever about, worries about it what about but then it's going to happen eventually <laughs> what about if you flood so if it happens you get a fire in, in there and there's like a laptop on fire or something um, and I don't know you can't put it out for some reason right yeah could you you could potentially have like oxygen masks that come down and people yeah. can breathe off and then just fill it with to, water to, oh, <laughs> well, I was going to say fill it with CO2 or something yeah um, or, or you know some kind of some way of I mean obviously the heat of the fire is, is a potential hazard but most people die from smoke inhalation during yeah, they fires do, yeah. uh, and you might be able to put out with a fire extinguisher but if the thing is filled with smoke you might be able to have like ox- like in an aeroplane if it depressurizes they have oxygen masks yeah so you might have maybe cylinders that's... on board that yeah, are able or just to fill it with like argon or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah just something totally inert um I, I, that might be a way around to helping but, but essentially trying to do what he said is to complete the journey so yes. you, you have things on board to engineer out that risk yes that's um, a good point yeah, to yeah, try yeah. and try and because maximize the chance of getting back to the station yeah so yeah so if it happens literally right out of the door in la yeah then you've got maximum 30 minutes but chances are it'll happen further down the journey anyway so you probably yeah. have like less than 30 minutes yeah. to wait so yeah stick your oxygen mask on and just like wait to get there <laughs> that's going to be scary that's very scary really scary so we've already discussed about how like potentially fast this thing is and yeah. what people might feel like kind of getting on it. But what do you reckon it's like actually experiencing a Hyperloop transport? Because they don't have any windows. It doesn't have any windows. Which is a bit of a bummer. I'm a little bit annoyed about that. Yeah, that that is a kind of annoying. Can they not Can they not sort that out? <laughs> you just make the whole thing out of, out of glass. Right? <laughs> like the tube anyway. Which would be amazing. The tube, yeah. That would be awesome. I don't think it will be. You do see renders of it. You where do see it's renders transparent, of it. but you I do. really I don't think it will be. I imagine not. It, just that be, just seems like unnecessarily expensive. It's going to have to be lots of components and like vacuum pumps and like yeah. magnets to accelerate it and all this stuff. But but I want to see I wanna myself s- whizzing past. Yeah. You know, have you ever been on a high speed train? Uh, no, not really. I, I mean, I've been on like the Eurostar, which goes yeah, a, bit, probably, a bit fast. Probably high speed. Most of the time, it's in a tunnel though. Yeah, but when it gets into France, it sort of goes a bit fast. Yeah, but it's not like. It's not like proper like Japanese style kind no. of No. I've been on the French uh, TGV, okay. which is really fast. And like hundreds? Uh, yeah, a couple hundred miles an hour. I can't remember exactly. And um Decent. I think it might even have the or it had at one point the record for being faster than the bullet train. Oh sweet. Um and it was pretty crazy fast. I mean You look out the windows and it's just like a blur. Yeah, of you're kind of going along and, and it's a big train. Like so it feels the, smooth. It's got like two levels and stuff in oh, the carriages. Yeah. Um and you sort of go yeah, you don't really notice the, the acceleration of kind of like oh, you know, I was quite excited because it's like, oh my god, it's high speed yeah, 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 sounds yeah. cool. Um yeah, and you don't really notice the acceleration, you're sort of blazing through the country because it's kind of built off you know off away from the roads and things but it does occasionally get closer to a motorway and you are just screaming past the, the cars that are doing 70 <laughs> or 80 um you know you go through like va- like huge valleys and stuff 
through um the horizon just keeps coming basically it's weird it, it, it doesn't feel like you're going that fast until you sort of look at stuff Something really close, close to you but yeah. you realise you're just covering these huge chunks of distance which look, which look massive yeah. just eating them up just chewing through the land yeah it's cool that's really cool so you want to see that at 760 yeah. miles an hour we, oh. and I, I reckon it'll be really smooth as well that's what, that's what I'm imagining because there's no it would friction. have to be yeah it's just going to be very smooth if it's You'll bumpy be, you're probably fucked yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be, you'd be aware of the acceleration obviously but after that mm. it's going to feel very very yeah. smooth so if you had windows looking out just like just literally just gliding yeah. across the landscape like ridiculously fast that would be, be so very cool. cool but unfortunately I don't think that's going to be the case but you might be able to have VR of that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I suppose so. You can, I mean, they'll certainly probably have screens in there yeah. to entertain people or whatever. Um, if you are, I mean, of that, I mean, you could, yeah, not if you yet like, particularly. I, well, I mean, we've talked about this before, but VR is probably you. You would imagine once they sort out, you know, a few generations down in VR, they might have sorted out every kind of sickness, little bug, and things, and then be able to have it so that the extra motion you feel from an aircraft or a hyperloop or a train or whatever, yeah. Um, well, partic- maybe not a train because you sort of want to keep an eye on your stuff. Um, but yeah, in certain types true. of transport, it's appropriate where you wouldn't get extra sickness or feel feel woozy or whatever from being in VR. Yeah. Um, but VR could be a potential, you know, awesome. It's like a brilliant thing to have on long distance uh, journeys. Um, and yeah. on a Hyperloop, if you could sort all that out, I mean, well, it's only a 35 minute journey, so it's not, it's so, not that long. It's not so it's bad. Not but like, it's maybe, just, mm. You're only thinking that though, really. And we're only thinking that it's because it's VR. Because, yeah, it's like, because it's VR and it's VR futuristic and a badass future transport yeah. thing like why not just whack them both in together but you could have a certainly camera feeds from outside so you'd get some sense yeah, of it it's not the same though yeah I mean you wouldn't have yet this with camera feeds from the outside you'd have to have something moving at the same speed you are like outside yes that's tube. very true so you probably wouldn't have that so you wouldn't yeah but you might be able to like have like a render of like flying through some crazy landscape or like some planet or space or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd yeah. be happy for that for half an hour. Yeah, be all right. Um, but I wonder what it's going to be like actually inside the capsule, because a lot of the pictures we've seen, obviously just renders, um, tend to be. It's obviously quite small in there, and the seats are quite reclined, mm. and it's a bit like a roller coaster in the sense that you yeah. strap in for the duration and you don't go anywhere. You don't you leave your seat. Out. Yeah, you just get into your seat and you stay there for half an hour. I mean, that's yeah. fine. It's only half an hour. But it does seem to me that pe- does it not some have... people might not like that. Yeah, there's the presumably no, like, amenities on board, toilets or whatever. Doesn't seem to be. Like, they're, they're, I mean, people need access. Some certain types of people need access to those facilities. Yeah, like, they just won't re- be able to travel. Regularly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the, the thought of, like, for some people, the thought of climbing down into this kind of like oh man like roller so coaster oh, cool. I, know, I know i know i know i can't go over it climbing down to this like roller coaster style seat and like imagine that just like lowering yourself in like getting yourself strapped in oh my ready god for the, so the journey. and then the door i'm imagining kind of like a falcon wing door thing <laughs> yeah closing and then the screen comes on and you're like it's really comfortable and there's like soft lighting inside yeah oh man and you just feel that like <laughs> yeah. i kind of a want to voice. do the two 2g in it yeah yeah oh. Maybe they'll have like special models that go 2G. Oh, yeah. I wonder if that we can have like a Hyperloop roller coaster. Now it's a huge waste of money. <laughs> might happen. Might happen. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, yeah, that that would be interesting to see what kinds of things they can cram into the into the capsules. Yeah, um, and whether half an hour is a short enough time that you really don't need much, and people are happy with that. Or yeah, that's the crucial that thing. That is that is not good enough. Yeah, because we don't. Yeah, it's not. It's never going to be viable if it if it. If, it, if it's only people like us who are like well up for it and yeah. want to do it who essentially um, are just looking to go on like an extreme road yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, or just for the kind of like futuristic kind of experience of it oh yeah no, no yeah that's absolutely. gonna be awesome as well um but yeah so it has to just appeal to everybody it has to be like for it to be viable for yes. it to be like replace trains or whatever yeah um as over it's, certain like, distance yeah. yeah yeah as this like new mode of transport it has to basically just work for, for pretty much everybody yeah um pretty much Pretty so much. that's going to be interesting how that, how that kind of plays out yeah you wouldn't have um, people coming around with a trolley with drinks and no first class maybe have classes or maybe you get a first class carriage and it's just like you and one other person and then I don't know yeah. you get a load of food or something <laughs> I'd imagine that getting drinks up and walking it, around probably, is, yeah. is probably going to be okay when it's at full speed yeah I'm just I just wonder if if it's like rocking mm. a bit I, f- I feel like you'll probably be strapped down pretty hard yeah, I mean it's only that's the thing. It's only half an hour, and if it's 
accelerating, you know, at 0.5 G or whatever for the first bit, he's probably going to spend like the first five to ten minutes That's accelerating, the and the then the last five to ten minutes decelerating. So, yeah. that, you know, the amount of time you're actually ten minutes be, at top speed type thing. Yeah. Um, just hold it. <laughs> you don't need to go to the toilet. Yeah. Just hold it. Yeah. Um, do you think people will feel claustrophobic inside them? Some people will, probably. I mean, I, I suppose people do feel like that on aeroplanes, on, you know, people with mm. extreme claustrophobia on trains. I knew a, a, someone who once got it on, like, buses. Part of the problem... Oh, right. Part of the problem is that we don't really know what these things are going to look like inside. No, no, no. And we just but I am imagining... I am imagining, like... If you're... This s- kind of quite small... Yeah. Like like super like kind of like the Batmobile or something inside yeah that's you know? exactly what I'm thinking yeah. you know the bit where the Batman go, where he goes forward into yeah, the bike yeah 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 <laughs> that kind of stuff that kind of stuff um, but so if it's like that I reckon there'll be a lot of claustrophobia people freaking out I think something of uh, about being strapped down so you can't you can't get up for mm. 30 minutes 35 minutes might people might be like no oh, I don't want to I just want to go slowly yeah you know, but that, that might not be the case it, you might not need to be literally strapped down well, um, you, like you have to stay strapped. The thing is, though, you, might you have be- to stay strapped in on an aeroplane, okay? Yeah. Uh, during certain parts of it, I know the hyperloop's different, but you, as you said, the acceleration, deceleration, okay, it takes you know five, ten minutes either side. Yeah. So you spend you know fifteen minutes at top speed or whatever it ends up being. Yeah. Um, there's no going to be no one to police you being strapped in or not strapped in, doing it safely, doing it not safely, yeah. etc. Um, so I I wonder. I mean, do you, it's like a roller coaster where you you clamp these things down and people can't get them off until they get to the other side. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, I don't know if that will work. I don't. People won't. People go won't for that. find that. Attractive. People won't like that. But, um, but I, what I'm imagining. So uh, again, I'm just basing this all totally. Yeah, on Yeah, we're just speculating, but it's, it's total speculation. Is um, is that yes, acceleration, deceleration. You don't want people obviously up and about. No. Uh, and you probably even won't have space in the carriages to literally be walking around. Yeah. Um, but you might. it might not be big old harnesses and straps. No, it wasn't necessarily saying it's um, harnesses There might straps, be a seatbelt just... that they, they, they tell you to wear during the acceleration and deceleration. Yeah. And you're kind of sat in these... I'm, I'm still off the top of my head. You're sat in these kind of like... Reclined. Reclined seats, seats. Each one in, in their kind of their own compartment. Maybe you, you sit next to somebody that you know. I don't um, think they'll be compartmentalised from a small compartment anyway, because otherwise it'll be like a like a shoebox. Yeah, but in a kind of in a kind of like nice, spacious, like okay, like high tech. I suppose that it was sort brightly of brightly lit, sort of, way, yeah. not not a dark like fucking Batmobile way. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, I I mean, uh, the back of the next seat is going to sort of make you feel like yeah, you're in, but yeah, 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 and, and maybe space. you have like a, a thing between the two seats that you can get cold drinks beers. out of, yeah, beers um, <laughs> and like sandwiches and. Like stuff like that, yeah. pizza, pizza, nice, a little <laughs> oven. Yeah, you get to the other end and everyone's like trashed the cubicle. There's like rubbish everywhere. There is. And, like... There's something about that. We were talking about it with autonomous vehicles last week. People being left alone in autonomous vehicles mm. with no one to police them. I mean, there'll be security cameras and stuff. Mm. Um, and how they're going to behave? How they'll, how they'll behave? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's something you can't call on it for that half an hour. You can't call on any authority to, you know, to to come and help you with anything. Mm. It's just you and those other people. Yeah, unless there is a constant, you know, maybe you can, or maybe there'll be a constant some, link, some person that's always on there, or somebody that's at the station that you're just linked to that you can, cool. you know, you can call, press a button, and you have a screen, and there's like a, yeah, a hyperloop yeah. like technician that sure. talks to you. Yeah, that's pro- that's probably possible. Um, but yeah, yeah, I imagine that that would be something they would do. But I don't know, like wild speculation. Yeah, I can't wait to find out what the station's going to be like. Probably awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It all sounds awesome. I mean, all the renders you see just make you think of there was, uh, stuff yeah. from movies or like I it's just all one, sci-fi. I saw one where it's that they sort of like come. I don't know. The the the, the hyperloop like uh, part is down. Yeah, and then there's sort of like a a big sort of swing thing like locks, yeah, 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 like, yeah. locks it up into the into the main tube. And then it sort of like seals off, pressurizes, yeah. and then goes. <laughs> yeah, 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 something like that. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. So you like you kind of wait on like a platform or something that's lower down. Yeah. And the thing like arrives, and the falcon wing doors open up, <laughs> and you get into it. Yeah, it's get down, down, strap yourself in, get your beer out, and then it raises it up. Oh, you really need windows. You really need. I know. Windows. Of course, you need windows. Man, it's gonna be so lame without windows. Oh, but all the rend- all the the renders make it look like it's going to be clear tubes. 
Yeah, which it probably won't be. You imagine it's just going to be like big metal cylinders. You'll just be get. I mean, it, it'll still be awesome, but... Yeah, you're just going to have to rely on the interior of the capsule feeling very spacious and nice and brightly lit and screens, you know, of yeah. whatever. VR headsets. Yeah. Make people feel at shit. ease. Yeah. Yeah, but ma- the stra- maybe this... the strapping will... down thing is... When you were talking about earlier, when like it could be a small strap that mm. you, you kind of can't. Were you suggesting one that you couldn't undo? That's what I meant. Was like no, some not necessarily. Yeah. Okay. So you just trust um, people. Yeah, you just trust people, but maybe that's stupid. I don't really know. I'm not sure if it is stupid or, or it isn't. Ba- basically, I'm not sure how like how much you'll need a strap, particularly. No. Just because of its high speed doesn't mean I think that. But well, if, the, if, one if, of the main if reasons it goes a bit mental, it. though, you're going to have to be seat, have a seatbelt on. Yeah. In the in the event of an emergency, something goes wrong. That's true. That's I very mean, you're true. probably probably fucked. That's the thing. You can just have to engineer out the risk of these emergencies, and if they if there is one, then everyone's just going to be dead anyway. But during the deceleration phase, that's ten minutes of of like 0.5 g in the opposite direction. If you don't have something you strap down, it could be quite uncomfortable trying to sort of unless the seats rotate or something. Because mm. you'd be comfortable being pressed into the seat. Yeah, but that's if it's no different to like uh, like a train a uh, fast train braking. Point yeah, but it's for a longer period of time. It's true. For like true. ten minutes, that might. I mean, yeah. like if we think about us, oh, I don't really care. Like that sounds fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to out. I'm trying to imagine for the population generally. Yes. Like for it to be a viable for, like, for people of all ages, of you know, who are you know, you can take small children on it, yeah. you can take elderly people on it. Yeah. Um, you don't want them to be in like 0.5 g deceleration, uh, for 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 five ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. In a in a seat that it doesn't have their body weight supported on anything so they're yeah. just like fighting to sort of I mean yeah, it's not being it kind of pushed that. forward a bit a little bit enough to make you probably uncomfortable well if you think if it is 0.5 G I mean the, you, you you think it's half the, the Tesla acceleration yeah. which is people are like oh Jesus Christ yeah no you'll feel it you'll definitely feel it it'll be, it will be strenuous after you know have a long 10 minutes yeah. of so it. you want to be strapped in for that definitely or the seats rotate yeah or well, the seats rotate um, yeah which would be weird <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be very cool. Yeah. I'm well up for that. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to have to wait and see. All these questions yeah. will hopefully be answered. Yeah. Um, if it's actually ever built. If it's actually ever built. 